Alex. I get a call from Arthur B. Jacobs. He's overseeing the last couple of months of shooting on Dr. Doolittle in L.A. And he says to me, Marty, I've got Rex Harrison and his wife squirreled away at a friend's house, and they are one bottle of scotch away from burning the place to the ground. Can you go over there and put a peaceful paw on things? Now, I had worked with Harrison years earlier on the Ghost and Mrs. Muir, and he was an insufferable a-hole back then, and twenty years and an Oscar for my fair lady had only made things worse. A friend of mine who worked on that show pegged him perfectly when he called him a turd wrapped in velvet. And his then wife at the time, Rachel Roberts, was a very heavy drinker. Once, during a very liquid lunch, she started barking like a dog at Leslie Brickers. Imagine Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf restaged as a close quarter knife fight, and you have an idea what that marriage was like. A lesser man would have fled to Mexico, leaving behind a suicide note and half a pint of his own blood to sell the bit. But... Arthur was a friend, and he had been there for us when Beverly got cancer, so I kind of owed him. Anyway, I get to the house, and I'm sorry, did I say house? I meant mansion. Big palatial mansion. And it was a damned mess. Furniture was broken, rugs were soiled, and there was more glass on the floor than an oaky honky tonk. And they're in mid slugfest. So I skip between them, and I say, Arthur P. Jacobs has sent me, and I'm going to ask you nicely to quit up the feuding and the fighting and to start acting like grown-ups. Well, it kind of worked. On the one hand, they immediately stopped fighting each other. The other hand, they started going in at me. All I had done was given them a common enemy. In desperation, I remembered the time when, as a child, I pitched a fit at the general store because my mother wouldn't buy me a sarsaparilla. But instead of punishing me, she just looked at me and said, No, 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 no. You're doing it all wrong. She then begins to pitch her own fit, right down to rolling around on the floor and bawling. And when she's done, she stands up, looks me in the eye, and says, Now that's how you throw a tantrum. Do better next time. Well, there was no next time, because, you know, I never pitched a fit after that. So I started yelling and screaming and throwing drinks and making a spectacle out of myself. Now, I don't know if it was the alcohol they had already consumed or my performance, but they both passed out faster than a 50s housewife presented with a mouse. Well, I took them both up to bed and I started to clean up the best I could. Well, Doolittle opened, and immediately tanked Rex Harrison's leading man career, to the relief of everyone who had ever worked with him in his life. And Arthur P. Jacobs, who never forgot a kindness, got me a job on the film that saved 20th Century Fox from bankruptcy, a nice little sci-fi number called Planet of the Apes, during which I had to save Charlton Heston from being attacked by a wild boar. But that's another story for another time.